So I know what you're thinking right now. Surely this part of the video should be at the end. But if you bear with me, we'll get straight to the beginning of this bold typeless tree. And we have to go all the way back to October when I decided to start the work. And of course we have to do a bit of a chop and we've got a fair tools to play with today. Now you may have even seen this footage before. Um, it's currently now sped up. And when I first did this footage, it was for a Dawn Redwood video. As at the time, it was the tree that I believed it to be. But after having a fair bit of response and a bit of research back, it turned out to be a nice bold cypress, which is a bonus. They're a lot more rare in this country and I'm more than happy with it. So as we're getting this wire on, we have to be very careful to not knock off the foliage as it's easily damaged and just falls off just by a brush. Now, as I'm working this tree, a lot of people are probably thinking that it's going to be too tall. Um, it's a good thing I'm not doing it for them. I'm doing this for me and I want a nice tall tree. I want it to be looking like a giant tree in a nice shallow pot. And with a few years of development, it's going to be looking absolutely beautiful. And here we are, the present day finally, the 13th of February. And as you can see, it's in a small pot here, but we need to show what was done to get it into such a shallow pot. And it was more hassle than what it was worth, if I'm honest. So as we're having a little spin around, just evaluating the way forward, and uh, we're gonna brush off all the loose soil the soil is still good and I decided to give it a wash under a hose and as you can see there's a lot of root a lot of tap root that we don't need and it's just figuring out the ones we need to get rid of while keeping as much feeder roots as possible yes my table's still squeaking but I'll get around to that eventually and these roots are proven to be more tricky than I expected. And while I'm doing this, um, we're definitely gonna have to do something a bit drastic. And right now is probably where some of you would want to unsubscribe. And if that's the case, then you're in the wrong place. Um, this is a standard procedure of just removing a lot of the root ball. And this is why it was proven difficult it's got loads of solid clay inside the middle of the root ball and all of that is going to have to be removed just to benefit the tree's health in general. And as I pull the root ball away you can see the amount of clay that was inside it and we've got plenty of feeder roots left over for this tree to be able to survive. And we're almost getting there. So now we're just getting it into the pot, just to have a quick look to see how it's gonna sit. And I think it needs a little bit more reduction on the tap roots. And so I don't want it sitting that high up. Like I want some roots showing, but they're just not looking that appealing to me. So 
So I thought I'd add to the video of just how to set up the pot for a tree. You just need a couple of pieces of mesh and wire. And it's that simple. And a couple of more wires. That's a minimum of two millimeter thick just to be able to tie down the tree into the pot. Anything lower than that, then I would say it's probably too weak to hold a tree, but these wires should do an absolute lovely job. And we are reusing the old soil that's still in good nick and adding some Green Dream Zero Nitrogen Feed, which will aid in root recovery. I've used it on many trees and it works wonders. Now it's just getting the tree wired in and filling up the pot with soil. Now we're getting the rest of the soil in and it's just all about filling the empty pockets, making sure there's no air pockets left within the soil as this can cause root dieback or root rot. And the soil I'm using is Kaizen number no. two. It should do this tree absolute wonders in its root development. And it should hold plenty of moisture as bold cypresses love a lot of water during the growing season. You simply cannot water them enough. And here we are with the finished tree for now. Um, I am going to moss up the soil. I'm not going to add it to the video. Have you seen me do it plenty of times? But you may see it in an update come June when the tree starts to leaf out. And it should be looking absolutely spectacular. So if you like this video, please comment, like and subscribe. If not, no worries. And I'll catch you in the next one.